Dead meme. Hey guys, dead meme back. Um, just back with some more Astroneer, hoping to show you some more useful uh, tips and tutorials on how devices and machines work. Today we're going to look at the chem station and the atmospheric condenser. So this uh, requires materials from other planets, such as the tungsten. Uh, you can get that on DeSolo. Uh, we're going to cover a few other ways to figure out where to look, because you're going to spend time searching for these materials on other planets. And it's great to not burn the rocket fuel and consume materials getting to these places when you're not ready or you don't need to go. So we're going to open up with the chemistry station. It requires glass, ceramic, and tungsten. This allows you to make compound materials. You would cycle through and say um, plastic is one you'll probably end up seeing a lot of. So you can combine carbon and compound to get plastic. Now, this is an advanced uh, storage container. It can hold 32 of one kind of resource. It requires glass and plastic, a compound that's built in the chemistry lab. And it sits very much like other storages, just on top, very simple to use. We're gonna get a little more in depth on how you can put this in your builds after we talk about the next set of machines. So we have the atmospheric condenser, which requires iron, again, comes from another planet, requires plastic, which comes from here, and glass. This machine allows you to extract um, the what's in the atmosphere. Every planet is slightly different. So in Silva, you can get hydrogen. Um, nitrogen is available. And these are compound recipes for the chem station. Some things like uh, gunpowder or the explosive powder requires sulfur and carbon. And sulfur is a gas that you get from... I can't remember which planet, but we'll cover how to figure out where it comes from. So we can turn this guy on and it'll start absorbing from the atmosphere and it'll, it'll basically build a little, um, it'll create a little object, like a little canister that we can hold on to. So we have um, silicone, which is a compound material, it comes from the chem lab and of course glass that allows us to make a gas canister, which can hold 32 units of a single atmospheric resource. So it's just like this guy. So we can say, when we get enough of this gas, we'll be able to fill this thing up. Well, we could probably drop them in now. Enable output. And there we go. So it's holding one of 160 units of hydrogen. So we'll let that thing kind of do its thing. <clears throat> so we have that canister that we built earlier from the demonstration back there. And we're going to use it in a simple setup. Uh, so we got some aluminum and some graphite and that'll provide for us a solder arm. It's kind of like a method of automation. Now, as you can see, I've put something in here. That's the filter, which prevents it from uh, taking anything that's not the item that's labeled. So right now I've got malachite in there. I can kind of swap it out for the laterite, and I'll put my cheater compound item in there. There we go. So we'll turn this guy on. And as soon as you could see, um, <laughs> this is a nice little automated setup. You can kind of put this on the end of a train station, use it to unload and feed your furnaces, and you can use this thing, which is the canister which you make uh, in the two slot system because it's only got two items to it. There we go. So if you put F on it, you can you can extract the materials or the machine can be a nuisance and dump stuff in on you. Yeah, automation's not always a good thing. <laughs> so this machine will pretty much run forever, filling up until it's completely full. So 
we'll use the repeat button and we'll ask it to keep going. Yeah, so as you can see, the atmosphere condenser has pulled more material out of the atmosphere. The great thing about this is I can do this now, cycle through to something that requires nitrogen, which is what I believe we pulled out. It's holding hydrogen. So we can make hydrazine. Okay, so now with some ammonium handy, we'll drop it in the canister. And we'll do a brief little overview of what makes these things so useful. So we can set this guy to output. And as you can see, he did it all on his own. We'll set him to output and just hit F on it. And if you had a whole bunch of this and a place, to, a way to store it, say with an auto arm, you can turn on the repeat and it'll continuously manufacture hydrazine. And hydrazine, as you can see back there, was required for the re the renewable rocket fuel, or not renewable, the reusable rocket. So the one that doesn't burn up, you can just keep refueling it. So as you can see, it's going to work away, consume our nuggets, and I think it's only one unit of gas. Which is nice because gas can be heavily compacted. And this guy could be set to a continuous run or low on power. I should have made more cheater power sources. But there you go, more hydrazine. So that covers the chem station, the canister that it unlocks, making your storage much more compact and somewhat automated and of course this is our gas canister there is a soil canister which is very large that can be placed on the very large rover but i'm going to cover that another time so i almost forgot to explain how to access the in-game wiki or they like to call it the astropedia so in the escape menu if you click on the little rocket ship here you can get of course, the basics of Astroneer, uh, you can learn about the planets, see like spalerites found in the caves, malachite in the mountains, what gases are available so your atmosphere condenser can go to work, what kind of power you can probably generate there. So if we say look at the next one, like uh, we can get the metal, which I can never say, tur that turns into tungsten in the caves, spalerites in the mountains, there are no gases, you can't bring an atmosphere condenser here and do anything useful. But one thing that is nice to know is sun level is high here, so bring a solar panel or two. And wind, it's low, still usable. Uh, just keep that in mind as you cycle through. And of course, you can directly look up a resource. So um, how about aluminum? Aluminum is refined from laterite. And if you look in the opening here, laterite is found on all planets in the caves. So there you go. And of course, you can look at the atmospheric resources as well. So on Aatrox there, we could find sulfur, or methane can be found on Aatrox and Novus, and so on and so on. And oh, it even covers the hazards. So if you wanted to find a particular seed for your snails, like the happiest, uh, the seed that makes them the happiest, that's where you could do that. And of course, your compound materials like your tungsten carbide is tungsten and, and carbon that is created in the chem lab. So hopefully that's pretty helpful. Uh, it's nice to not have to alt tab out of a game when you want to uh, figure something out and go into Google. But of course, Google is always available to you and have a good day, everyone. Hope to see you again soon. So if you've made it to the end of the video, uh, there's just a little personal note I'd like to attach to this. Um, the reason why I've started making YouTube videos was basically I've got lots of free time on my hands. It's tough to find full-time work in my previous profession. Like I'm getting hours, but it's definitely uh, not a full-time job anymore. So what I'm hoping to do is to supplement the money, possibly <laughs> doing something I'm doing anyway, uh, playing video games and making videos that hopefully people find useful. So I, and having a full-time job in the past, I remember like looking up videos because I don't have all the time in the world to learn exactly how some of these 
games work, right? But I really want to play them. So that's the the benefit I'm hoping to give to people is that rather than uh, setting up a uh, account on GoFundMe and and begging, I figure let's see maybe I'll trade something useful. I can get some likes and subs, and maybe get a hold of some of that Google cash. Who knows? But uh, again, thanks for watching all the people who do, and uh, hopefully you give a small time creator a hand, whether it's uh, material or like or immaterial such as liking subbing or sharing or even uh you know link me a video that can teach me how to be a better editor or whatnot um whatever <laughs> all these things would be helpful but thanks again see you guys later